guys, it's Annie and hi, how's it going? Hey guys, what's up? Um, today's video is about the Blue Jays. If you don't follow baseball, shame on you because this team is playoff bound for the first time since 1993. It's like, what? So in the offseason, the Jays acquired Russell Martin from the Pittsburgh Pirates and Josh Donaldson from the Oakland Athletics. And when they signed Donaldson, I literally could not believe it. I was like, how in the world did the Jays, a bottom feeder last year, get like a high class player like Donaldson? I was like, so when they signed Troy Tulowitzki and Latore Hopkins, I was like, oh my god, the left side of the diamond is going to be like killer because you have Donaldson at third and Tulowitzki at shortstop. And I was like, I was like, he's oh like, oh my god, he's like another freaking Jeter. Like that's how good Tulowitzki is. I was like, yeah. to get Tulowitzki, they had to get rid of Reyes. And I was like, you got rid of your leadoff, man. What are you going to do now? Like. They have fast players, but they don't really get on base most of the time. So I was like, oh, oh. In Tulewiski's first like five to seven games, he was leadoff man. And I was like, you're a good hitter, but you're not leadoff. Like they need someone fast and it can get on base like 98% of the time. And then they also got a player named Ben Revere. I think it was off waivers? I don't really know. <laughs> and they put him in the lineup at lead off spot. And I was like, yes! Someone who can run and who can get on base 85% of the time? But yeah, I was like, good. They need a fast player at the top of the lineup. So the the their lineup now was Revere, Donaldson, Bautista, Encarnacion, and then Tulowitzki in the fifth spot, which I think is a good spot for him. I think it's a good spot for him because he's a power hitter and he can drive in all those runs that Donaldson, Bautista, or Encarnacion miss, which they don't really miss because they're like the best hitters in the, in the major leagues. So, oh my God. And then on the very last day, of the trade deadline, so the 30th, they got David Price from the Detroit Tigers. And I was, I just, I just remember a few years back watching him pitch against the Jays. And I was like, oh my God, they can't hit him. <laughs> the Jays, like whenever Tampa Bay pitched Price against the Jays, I was like, yeah, the Jays are gonna lose cause this guy's on the mound. Now he's pitching for the Jays and I was like, yes. Whoever the Jays, whoever he's pitching against, I, I just feel bad because he's the, in my opinion, like the best pitcher or one of the best pitchers in the American League. And ever since joining the Jays, he's gone seven and zero, which is like what you want from an ace. And the Jays got that. But to get Price, they had to trade Daniel Norris, Matt Boyd. And Jario, Jario Lamb, Lambout? I, I don't know how to say his name, but they had to trade Norris. And I just remember all spring training watching him and watching him and learning about him a bit more. And I was like, no, he's a good pitcher. Why, why do you have to trade him? Oh, so that was a bit stressful, but in the end, I guess the Jays sort of got the better deal. Like, for to get a good player, you have to trade some good players, equally good players, and they traded that. Oh poop! But yeah. Presently, the Jays are 91 and 55, and they have the top spot in the American League East. 
And on September 26, the Jays clinched a playoff spot for the first time since 1993. That ends a 22-year postseason drought, the longest, I might add, in North American sports history. So it's like, yes! Finally, some postseason baseball with a team that I like. Mm. Yeah. Woo. Postseason drought is over. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what I should do for my next video. So yeah, I will see all you guys next Tuesday.